Welcome back to JK Fishing. Today we have a recipe for you. Beer battered Lake Erie walleye. The fish we are using is fresh Lake Erie walleye. If you want to see how we caught it, just tap on the white eye above and it'll bring you to that video. Anyways, now into the cooking part. So the first step in making beer battered fish or any type of fried fish is you want to lay down a little bit of excess flour on a plate that you're gonna put your fillets in before. So just so they have a little bit of coating in case the mixed coating doesn't, you wanna spread it out on your plate. Then you wanna take a walleye fillet and using a paper towel, you wanna to pat it dry so that the meat, so that the meat sticks better to the flour, to the coating. And then you just wanna put it in the flour and roll it all around. Now we're gonna make the batter. All this batter takes is a little bit of beer, some flour and salt to your liking. Due to legal reasons, I'm not pouring the beer because I'm a minor, so I'm having my dad pour it. You wanna pour about half a can for this amount of meat. Now, we're gonna add our flour to the mixture to make the batter. And we're gonna mix that all up. As you can see this batter, it slowly gets thicker the more you mix it up. You want it to have that consistency so it can stick to the fish. That's the consistency that we have right now. Next, we're gonna just add a little sprinkle of salt because I don't like my fish too salty. Now we're gonna heat up the stove in the oil so that when we put our fish in, it's already nice and hot. With the oil, we only want to pour enough so that we can have the whole fish submerged. I'm just using canola oil. Good. Now, to tell if the oil is hot enough, one trick is you stick the end of a wooden spoon inside the oil, and if it starts forming little bubbles, many bubbles, and that rise to the surface, then you know that your oil is hot enough to dip the fish in. So now we're gonna dip the fish into the batter. You wanna get the whole thing wrapped in batter, all the ends, all of the fish. Just like that. And now you're just gonna put it in the oil. You can do that with all your fillets. I noticed that the batter came off with the touch of my fingers when I was placing the fish in. So I decided to use tongs because my fingers cover more of an area than these tongs. So we already flipped the first one over. What you want to look for when you're flipping these fish over is you want it to be a crispy golden brown. So it's not burnt and it's not undercooked and it has that little bit of a crispy taste to it when you take a bite out of it. Also the outside of it feels really hard when it's ready to flip. So I'm just using for this piece that's ready is it's almost like a ladle with holes in it so that the water, the oil can seep through. It's going to let it all drip out. And so you go on the plate and ready to be eaten. There's one beer battered walleye filet. So I have this fish paired with a little homemade tartar sauce. It takes about one minute to make. All you need to do is dice up some pickles and add it to a little bit of mayonnaise. It tastes as good as the real thing. Now let's take a bite out of the fish. 
take a little bit of tartar sauce. Wow, this tastes really good. It reminds me of the stuff that you buy at restaurants, but it's better knowing what goes into this food and that sense of accomplishment of making it yourself. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a like, check out our other content, and we'll see you next time on JKT.